What up everybody? It's Casper. Hope everyone's doing great. We back with another review and today we're going to be looking at 1917. So let's get straight to it. 1917. So I just saw this movie yesterday and it's been on the watch list for a minute and never got a chance or the opportunity to watch it but uh this movie came out in 2019 and even then didn't even have the chance to watch it because 2019 has some hitters uncut gems once upon a time in hollywood there's another movie i know that was a banger but 1917 was that movie i wanted to see and we are finally here and we watched it so 1917 came out in 2019 and it's an hour and 59 minutes and is directed by Sam Mendes and written by Sam Mendes as well. Uh, another writer on the movie is by the name of Christy Wilson Carnes. I'm sorry if I got your last name wrong. I am so bad at that. The movie takes place basically like the title, 1917, and it's about uh, two war guys who ha who are sent to go across I don't know what but hella far and they're supposed to send a message to the other part of the army uh, and tell them that the attack they're trying to do the next morning is basically don't do it because the enemy knows that they're gonna do that plan like they're a plan to attack so the messengers the two messengers dudes have to tell the the main officials people would like stop attacking like the German the Germans know that you guys are gonna attack them this is a setup thing so that's basically the main plot that these two people have to like go and travel and um, get the message across to the main sergeant so that they don't uh, attack the Germans knowing the Germans know that they're gonna do this attack two main actors who are sent on this quest to deliver the message um, their names are Dean Charles Chapman and he played the character named Lance Corporal Blake and another actor was George McKay and he played Lance Corporal Sch Schofield something Schofield and both of those actors great performance vibe really had the sense of you were back there I love the dialogue it was beautiful visually everything looked like it was the war like movie was starting I was already I was seeing the visual side of it already from the beginning. I was like, oh, I'm expecting some headshots. Like, it's going to be pretty graphic. Let's go. One of my favorite scenes in the movie, don't want to spoil it too much. There's a scene when one of the soldiers is running to deliver the message because he finally finds the group he has to deliver to. Back then, they had trenches. So you had to uh, walk through the trenches to, like, talk to other people. He said, and he got up and plain sight with the enemy, he just ran through the field trying to, like, because there's so much people in the trenches, you know, it's hard to like walk and run through them. He just said, and let me get up and he ran. And when he was running, Thomas Newman came back with this, the piano and his sound and everything. And his sense, I was like, yo, it's crazy. So that's all I want to say about that scene. But that scene was intense. There was talking scenes in there and it didn't, I wouldn't want to say it dragged because those talking scenes were important. kind of needed to know like the details. So I wouldn't say that it dragged on when they were talking or just slower scene those were actually informative and they were really creative and the shots were great thomas newman thomas newman in my eyes considered the greatest of all time in just composing music for movies done nemo sean shank redemption he's done a lot of other bangers those movies right there I've, like he's been a nominated for so many movies uh thomas newman for his sound i know this movie 1917 got nominated and that was a good sign thomas newman brought the thomas newman vibes into the movie at first when the movie was starting you would be like oh here he come like yes here he come and then throughout the movie like there'll be small here and there sounds like where is that emphasis that extra extra thomas newman sound when the actions and sentimental scenes started coming they're like oh here it comes there it is there's the thomas newman we know thomas newman is such a boss it could be a low scene of someone just eating a cracker put a song over there and it'll be so dramatic who's a freaking genius i don't know how he does it his sound is so beautiful so shout out thomas newman one of my favorite types of shots a lot of one take shots not everyone can do it this movie there's a lot of one take shots to cut their one takes 
Like it would just be like a black screen. Someone will get knocked out and then that's how the one take gets cut off with someone blacking out. So it's black, starts off again and it's another one take. The one take scenes on there are so crispy. Watching the movie, you'd be like, damn, I didn't even notice that one, one take ended. That's one thing I liked about the movies, the one takes, they're so beautiful. It's one of my favorite shots in movies are one takes. So I love that, that was really dope. If you haven't seen this movie, definitely put it on your watch list. This is the type of movie that if you and your boys are just gonna stay at the crib, chill, you know, have a smoke out, eat munchies. But yeah, like I was saying, this is one of the movies I've been really wanting to watch. It was on my watch list. Now that I saw it and let it soak in on just the things I saw, I will have to give 1917 nine, but I want to give it a 9.5. The reason why I give it a nine because before watching the movie, I already felt like I was gonna see some uh, headshots in the movie. And not really a spoiler, but there was just no headshots. And I would think that there would have been a headshots in a war movie. You know, at least like a bullet hit the cap and the cap fall off or something. It wasn't none of that. Thomas Newman made the movie from 8.5 to a nine. There just had to be a little more of like emphasis, maybe with the kills. 1917, rated R, it's an hour and 59 minutes, won many awards, won three Oscars, but nominated for so many stuff. You should go watch it. I gave it a nine out of 10. Mad crazy, loved it. That's been a Casper review on 1917. Hopefully you dig the vibes in my review on the movie and we'll see you next time. Yes, sir. 1917, winner of three Academy Awards and two Golden Globe Awards, including Best Picture. There's only one way this war ends. Last man standing.